We had examples of party house situations here in Fort Lee, consumption of on-street parking. In today's day and age, you want to know who's living in your neighborhood. Fort Lee Mayor Mark Sokolich says constituents living next door to Airbnb hosts have been inundating his phone line with complaints. The short-term home rental service is booming in New Jersey, and neighbors in small-town suburbs say it feels a bit like having a hotel outside their house. We have millions of people that go through our streets on literally a weekly basis. We're not trying to find out and know about each and every one of them, but we certainly want to know about the ones that are sleeping in our neighborhoods, right? And so what we came up with was to create a statewide model so that municipalities could create a registry. And a registry would be for the host to go into the municipality and say that, you know, they are going to rent their homes. Several other mayors from towns in Assemblywoman Valerie Huddle's district aired similar concerns, leading her to sponsor legislation aimed at regulating the industry. It provides a road map for municipalities to see A, who's coming into their neighborhoods, and B, if they'd like to continue to uh, have the Airbnb exist in some of these neighborhoods. We think cities and towns need to have the flexibility to enter into regulations that make sense for them. Assemblywoman Huddle's bill would create a top-down approach where if a town decided to regulate, they would have to do so in a specific way. And we just don't think that taking away the power uh, from cities and towns and this in the Garden State makes sense. But Huddle says she hopes her bill will act as an incentive for municipalities to allow short-term rentals instead of banning it altogether. The legislation doesn't apply to seasonal or long-term rentals. This legislation is not a one-size-fits-all. It certainly allows the municipalities to create their own guidelines, their own ordinances, uh, their own penalties. According to Airbnb, the company does a strong business here in New Jersey. Last year alone, there were 257,000 short-term rentals, generating more than $50 million. People have a right that if they bought a home in a residential area, they assume that it's a residential area. With the Airbnb model, do you have no idea whether your neighbor or uh, the house down the street becomes an investor model, which is now a transient rental? At the very least, they should have safeguards. A companion bill moving through Trenton is seeking to tax Airbnb rentals with the same surcharges as hotels and motels to level the playing field. Airbnb supports collecting taxes from our community around the country, across the country and around the world. And in, we're already doing so in 220 jurisdictions, including Jersey City. But all parties agree the struggle is finding a middle ground, allowing property owners to make money while ensuring everyone is safe. In Fort Lee, Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.